Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and we're on the New Boston's YouTube channel. Today I want to go over working in a 3D scene and how to use your views properly so that you can <clears throat> quickly move around in your 3D scene and figure out what to do. So, I mean, the first thing we should probably do is set up another 3D scene. So I'm going to start from uh, scratch here and set up another 3D scene in case um, you guys haven't seen previous tutorials where I have done that. So let's just start out. I uh, imported an object here so we can have something to use as a reference and move around in 3D space. So the first thing we want to do is make sure this cube here is checked this makes it a 3d layer and we want to make sure our background layer here if you want to create one is not in 3d so the next we want to do is we need to create a new camera to look around through in 3d space so we're going to go to layer new camera now we can name this our main camera and just keep the settings here just look at the settings that I have, which you probably probably only need to change if you have your preset different. Just change it to 50 millimeter. Hit OK. Now this is good enough for a basic 3D scene. We have our camera here, which we are looking through right now because we can see that it says active camera up here at the top, right where my mouse cursor is and also down here in our view pop-up where we can ch check our views we have active camera which is our main camera right now or we can come down here and click on main camera and it'll be on it's the same thing as active camera for now since we only have one camera in the scene so what I like to show you is how to use your views correctly so we need this drop down panel right here where we can look at different views so when you're working in 3d and you need to position stuff around and get and see where you are relative to everything else it's a good idea to use the four views <clears throat> now you'll have your main camera up here in the right and this is what this is what your camera is seeing and then up here is the top which is a very um, very useful view uh, it's very good for seeing look you're looking from the top of the scene down so you're seeing where your objects are in space the uh, right view over here you're looking from the right from the right of the camera on and uh, it's good for seeing where your things are in space from left to right <clears throat> And then you've got your front view here where you can see that this little box right here in the middle, that's your camera. You're going to be able to see everything in the front view. And it's different from the main camera view because you can actually see where your camera is in like relative to where your other objects are. So when I click on my, uh, my uh, picture here, you can tell which one you have clicked by one using your color guide here so if you click on this color you can change it if you if you would like so if I change it to yellow it's gonna be yellow up in your uh, selection so you know that this right here is your picture even though you can't see it because it's head-on now you can move your object in 3d space by going such is this moving in in the uh, view panels here and you can also move down here in your uh, regular properties panels when you make something 3d there is going to be an XY and a new Z coordinate here that you can use to move uh, forward and backwards towards the camera depending on where your camera is if your camera is up above then it's going to uh, move um, side to side pretty much and then the Y axis will be moving towards your camera so I'm gonna throw in a, another um, picture here 
We'll throw in something that's not huge. How about this disco guy? We'll th put him in the, in the scene. So I'm just going to drag it on. It's fairly large, so I'm going to scale it down. And I need to make it 3D, or else it's just going to appear like right in front of the camera. So I made it a 3D layer. And now you can see that this layer, which is uh, color purple, is now behind this other layer. So <clears throat> now you can see how being able to move this way relative to the squish marker here. If you try to do this all in one camera view, let me go back to one view. It might be hard to tell exactly where you are relative to to the to the other things in the scene. It's it's definitely possible, but if you're over here on the side, there's no way you can tell how far away you are. If you're behind, you can definitely tell. But I mean, if I scale this up, it might look like it's closer now. If you get what I'm saying there. So use your views to figure out where you are in the scene. Now if I move my camera, oh, wrong one, I need the uh, track Z. I'll go over these later on. You can see now that it's definitely behind the other the other uh, squish that the other uh, image there so that's a pretty basic overview of how to use your views you can change the view you want in uh, which in which uh, section by right clicking and come over here to switch 3D view and maybe I want to come from the bottom on this one and now I'm looking from the bottom up so I'm going to switch it back to right mainly I work with right front and then this one should be top oops you gotta click in it make sure it has the little triangles in the corner that that means you have it clicked and then switch it. When you're working with a 3D modeling program, usually these are the views you want to use also. And you're in these views all the time because you need to move around and see what you're doing. And it keeps you in perspective and everything. If you try to do it all from the main camera, I've learned from experience that things get distorted and they get like twisted and it doesn't look correct which I mean you might not have as <clears throat> hard of a time with that in After Effects but I mean you get the idea you just want to keep things all nice and in order for your scene especially when you need to pass it off to somebody else so uh, that's the end of this tutorial just use your use your views the way I showed you and you should be good